Okay, so what we're going to do today is create a online parent teacher interview form using Google Docs and this is something that all the templates are made for you. You basically need to fill in the times you want to be available and there's a note even there to send home to parents and then you get them to fill out all the times um, and basically this, this can all be done online in a matter of um, a couple of nights you'll probably fill this up. Um, if anyone makes any changes or alters anyone's times on it you can go back and see who did what. So there can't really be any disputes about um, people changing other people's times and it just saves a whole heap of paper, frustration and time and it's something that I think parents um, find a lot easier than chasing notes and making phone calls to make <coughs> parent teacher interviews. So let's have a look at how we do this. The first thing you'll need to do is copy the link to the uh, folder that I've created for this. So that link will appear on your screen now and you'll see this, uh, you'll need to have a Google Drive account to do this which is just a Gmail account and there are three documents in here. What we need to do here is it's got this read me first document here and this is just explaining the process of it. If you have a look at this here, watch this video tutorial, you then go in and edit your schedule template and then you customise the note to send home to the parents and, and you're good to go then. So I won't open that. If you do want to um, open or edit any of these you have to hit the open button and we'll, we'll go through this in the next next part of that. The first thing that we need to open up is this parent teacher interview schedule. So it won't give you a preview but if we do hit the open button um, it's going to load it up for us and the first thing we want to do before we do anything to it is to make a copy of this. This will basically turn it from your my document into your document. So you might just call it Mr Cummins' um, parent teacher timetable. And you hit OK. Now this document's yours, you can do whatever you want with it. So what you basically need to do here is work out the times that your parent teacher interview is on um, and you then can block out and allocate the time you want. So if, you, if you're going to start your parent teacher interviews over one night, two, night, two nights, however you want to do it, that's entirely up to you. So if I was only going to use the first two nights for my parent teacher interviews, you can just simply uh, delete that column, delete that column, and so on. Uh, if I had a, a, an appointment or I wanted to schedule a bit of time, so I might go through there and punch in all the times that I'm available. If I wanted to have a break um, on both of those days, I can just go in here and block them out as bright red and that'll allow you to have collect your thoughts and maybe go and have something to eat or whatever it is you need to do and you can even write in there if you want <laughs> unavailable you could spend a whole lot more time um, editing and changing the layout of, of this but um, Obviously the times for your school's parent-teacher interview is going to be totally different to what we've got here. Um, so make sure you get those things right. And there is a note up here um, that says insert class name here. Make sure you do that because it, there's going to be one of these for every class that you uh, do it for or if you're just doing it for your class or whatever. So you might have grade, grade uh, 6KC. That way when parents click on it they'll know that they've got the right class. Now there's a bit of information here for parents. Dear parents, please double click on a cell to enter your child's name and in that slot. Only one family per time slot please. Please do not change anyone else's entries as we can see if this has occurred by and by whom. We look forward to seeing you there. This sheet auto saves as you type so just close it when complete. So basically what we're going to do here is if you need to add more rows you can do that by just clicking the button here. Um, if you want to tidy it up and alter things and, and change this around that's fine but basically what we've got here is the framework for our parent teacher interview and we want them to fill out these times in here. The next thing we want to do with this is once we're happy with the, the document is we want to share this. Now this is quite important that you get this right. At the moment it's private only to you. Now because we want to send this home via a uh, note, we're going to put a hyperlink on that note. 
So let's have a look at the way that we do this. At the moment, as I said before, it says it's only private to you. We can hit the change button here. And what we're going to do is click on anyone with the link. I'm going to say anyone with the link can edit this document. I'm going to hit save. Now what this has done up the top here, you've got this big long link. Now we actually, you could do this a few different ways. You could send it home via email to your parents if you've got all their email addresses. But what might actually be easier here is to send it home in a note. Now there's no way you're going to be able to send that URL home in a note to parents. It's just too long, too hard to understand. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go to a URL shortener. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. The one I use is uh, Google's which is G -O -O dot GL. You'll see that on your screen. And all you need to do is type in here your URL that you want to shorten. Hit shorten URL and it now has generated this uh, nice little URL that we're going to use in our note home to the parents. Um, be aware that they are case sensitive and you might even want to pop a, a bit about that into your note. So we're going to copy that. We've shared our document, our original document that we had. We now want to go back into our folder that we had open and open up the second document here. So if you go back to that folder, which is shared with you uh, at the start of this video, you'll see that there is a note that has been pre-written for you. So I'm going to open up this note. Same process again. Before you can do anything with it, you need to make a copy. So we're going to make a copy and you're going to give that a name. Hit OK. Now you can edit it. Now there's some instructions here in case you've done this in the wrong order. It's just telling you that this is uh, one of three things that you need to do, which is watch the video, edit the other template, template and edit this note. So you can just delete this once you've read that. Um, you obviously need to insert your school name and logo here. Now I won't read this note to you, you can all read it yourself, but basically it gives you a rundown of why you're doing this um, online, how you go about doing it, but the most important part is that you insert your link to your grades parent-teacher interview, which we did before, in here, make it nice and big and visible, so blow it up to, you know, nice big font. You can then delete any of the uh, information I've got here. You'll need to go through and insert your own grade name, your own name in a few different things here, school numbers, school phone numbers. Um, have a read through the note, change whatever you want, that's perfectly fine. And uh, basically, the process of this, this working is that you create your uh, online interview schedule first, you then send this note home to parents with the link, they fill out the link and you can then see um, who's done what, who's altered any times, if anyone's altered anything you can jump in and see that and basically your parent teacher interviews will be done in a matter of well, a couple of nights I'd imagine from, from my experience of doing this in the past and you don't need to chase parents via phone or anything like that. Uh, you don't need to send a whole heap of paperwork out. So it's really quite straightforward and people can do this um, on any iPad, PC, phones, anything. So it's really quite straightforward. Mm -hmm.